If you're tracking materials and costs in Microsoft Project, you're probably going to want to get those down to your timesheet so that you can get input and feedback and adjustments from the boots on the ground. The idea is your project manager sets up your project, it goes down to your timesheet, the actual employees working on the tasks of the project will make some changes and you want those going back up to Microsoft Project. That's the topic of this video. That's what you're going to see in the software over here. Um, there's another video that you should probably take a look at, and that also relates to bringing costs and materials down from Microsoft Project into Standard Time. I consider that part one of this video. So the two videos go together. You should look that up. Um, other videos also related to bringing actual work from the Standard Time timesheet up to Microsoft Project. All of these videos are valuable because you're going to want to bring that Microsoft Project file down into Standard Time and get the actual conditions on the ground. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got here. This is the same Microsoft Project file that we showed in an earlier video where we brought costs from Microsoft Project down into Standard Time. We have the same two tasks as in that earlier video. Each task has a human resource assigned to it and then some other material and cost resources assigned. A hammer, nails, roofing, we got different quantities assigned to each one so that changes the cost. Down at the bottom we see the human resource buzz and then nails, roofing, hammer. These are material and cost resources. So we had brought all of this information down into Standard Time so that you could see the cost values in Standard Time and interact with those. So what we want to do now in this video is show how the actual end user employee can have some input into this project. So we assume then that this project was created by a project manager and then the actual employee wants to have some input. So let's switch over to Standard Time. And we see the same project here, the same two tasks. And so let's show how the employee can have some input. We click on the task, click down into the material costs, and then click dot, dot, dot. So we see the materials and costs, the values over here on the right-hand side. And so in this case, Buzz has decided that he needs three rolls of roofing instead of two. And so that bumps the cost from $10 to $15. And the cost here goes from 21 to 26 and the total cost goes to $355. Switch over to Microsoft Project. We see the old number of $350 here. So let's go to the Project tab, and then there's a button that allows you to sync with Standard Time. And by the way, you do not have to use this button. There is a completely independent console application that does the same thing, that can sync with Microsoft Project nightly or on any schedule that you want. So I'm just gonna use this so that we can see each individual change. I click that and the value goes to $355. So that has brought up that change. We see the three rolls of roofing from Standard Time uh, here in Microsoft Project. One more example, switch back to Standard Time. And I should say that the actual work will also come up from the timesheet into Microsoft Project as well. This is not just for costs. Uh, Buzz presumably is going to be putting in his hours into Standard Time, into the timesheet, and those actual hours will be going up into Microsoft Project as well. But for the sake of this video, we're just talking about costs. So let's go into the house task, go into material costs, and in this case, Buzz has decided that he needs some aluminum flashing. Let's say one roll at $20. So we'll click save and that bumps the cost of the materials from $54 to $74. And then the total cost of the job is now $375. Back to Microsoft Project, click the sync button and we're up to $375. You see the roll of aluminum flashing assigned to this task and then down at the bottom you see that material added. 
So this is a way for the actual end user to have some input on the project that the project managers have set up. The materials are going to go down to standard time, the end user will make some updates, and then they will travel back up to Microsoft Project when you perform a synchronization. So that is how materials and costs are transferred between standard time and Microsoft Project.